I'm never going to make it. <laughs> All Beaver's family and friends. Did you recognize That's my only brother. There you go. Your only brother, right? You're right. You can do yeah, this. Yeah, he is crazy. Dry it up. You can do it. Stand up, buddy. <laughs> so he said you were messing. Dad, it's me over here in good old Bahrain. Just wanted to uh, wish you a happy birthday and let you know I'm sorry I couldn't be there, but you know, duty calls. And uh, you know, if I was there, I wouldn't miss this for the world, special occasion and everything. So, and if I know you right about now, you're starting to get all teary <laughs> So, uh, make this short and sweet. Suck it up, princess. <laughs> Turn around and give your son a hug. Love you. Turn around and give
Thank you, guys. Yeah, she's been like this all day since I showed up. <laughs> How do you like your Christmas present? <laughs> <laughs> you what? <laughs> oh, thank you so much. That's why I was not letting you get out of it. <laughs> Did you like it? Oh, I like it. Oh. Oh my god. Thought you were gonna have a heart attack. Okay. Yeah, what are you going on? This one? You're not being deported, are you? No. I'm not. You're too messed up. Yeah, I'm not messed up. traveling through time. You see, we weren't quite sure how to use this machine and well, it took me all the way to Afghanistan. 
But luckily, Staff Sergeant Justin Haggerty helped me find my way back. Come on, Justin! I'm definitely nervous a bit. I'm in a good way, I think. Army Major J.D. Tillman hasn't seen his son in 10 months. I've, I've missed him a whole bunch. Um, I've actually thought about this day um, quite a bit over the last several months. A while ago, he promised Jalen he'd be back by his 16th birthday. He's made it with one day to spare. Hey, oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> What's up, dude? Oh my God! <laughs> Tillman lost 55 pounds overseas. He wondered if his son would even recognize him, but immediately he did. What went through your head? That's my dad. <laughs> It just kind of, I mean, because I'm thinking he's in Afghanistan. How much does it mean to you for him to be here for your 16th birthday? More than anything that I could ever imagine. This hug is something they've both been waiting for. I need to touch him, you know, something I hadn't done in a long time. I've had that mental image um, over and over. His son is now old enough to understand. His father's job is a dangerous one. I try not to think about it, but you know, I mean, it's a whole nother world over there. But on his 16th birthday, he won't have to worry. His father is home. I'm just happy. I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. You just took a picture, didn't you? No, I didn't. It's recording. Oh. How do you feel about surprising your family? I am really excited. They can't really see you, but here you. That's okay. We're almost there. We're pulling in. It's going to be awesome. We're kind of the back way. Okay. All right. Anything else you want to say? I love my family. And I love you. <laughs> love you too. Ladies and gentlemen. No way! Oh my gosh, you are such a snob! <laughs> lovely. Oh my god! Finally tonight, a heartwarming homecoming. Marine Staff Sergeant Mike Epperson came home from Iraq last week. His two daughters attend St. Mary's School in Cardin, Ohio, and the school adopted his Marine unit, sending packages and letters through the year. So the sergeant went to visit the school to say thanks. But for his two daughters, Caitlin and Kaylee, it was a surprise. They didn't know he'd come home. So at a school assembly, the principal, Sister Sandy, she's called, Come on in. opened the door, and Sergeant Epperson simply walked in. It took his daughters a moment to realize who was there, and after that, well, no words are needed. Hey, I'm home, okay? I'm home, man. I'm probably going to cry, so I apologize. 
I haven't seen them in, in almost eight months. And I'm glad I'll be home. All of your warm uh, care packages, boxes, and letters like that got out to all the Marines there. Every one of them said thank you. Every one of them, all those three by five cards that you made me, I read every one of those. Every single one. And then Caitlin and Kaylee took him to meet their classes. Have y'all been good? Yeah. Yeah. Caitlin's class sang the anthem. And the emotion of the moment overcame her. And overcame her dad as well. Welcome home, Sergeant. Nice to have you back. That's our special edition of World News for this Monday. I'm Charlie Gibson, and I hope you've had a good day. For all of us at ABC News.